consider the third problem. Obtain all other zeros of 3x raised to 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 if two of its zeros are root of 5 by 3 and minus root of 5 by 3. Now since root of 5 by 3 and minus root of 5 by 3 are the zeros of the polynomial, we can say that x minus root of 5 by 3 and x minus of minus 5 by 3 which is x plus root of 5 by 3 are the factors of the given polynomial. Now if these two are the factors then their product will also be a factor of the given polynomial that is x minus root of 5 by 3 into x plus root of 5 by 3 will also be a factor of the given polynomial. That is, you get x square, which is a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So, x square minus 5 by 3 is a factor of the given polynomial. By dividing the two, we will get the remainder as zero. So, by now we are starting to divide the two polynomial by because the quotient which we will get after the division will be a factor of the given polynomial. So, this is the term with which we have to divide the given polynomial. So, what the process is? 3x raised to 4 divided by x square will give you 3x square. Then you have to just multiply this quotient with this, you will get 3x raised to 4 plus 0x cube minus this will give you 5x square. Then you have to subtract. This will get a negative sign, negative, this will become positive. So here this will go, here this will give you 6x cube, this will give you minus 2x square plus 5x square which is plus 3x square and minus 10. Now the next process is again to divide 6x cube with x square which will give you plus 6x and this is 6x cube after multiplication plus 0x square minus this will give you 5 this will see 5 by 3 into 6 will give you 10 so that 10 is here. Okay, so that you have to just subtract and subtraction will give you this negative sign, negative and this will become positive. So here it will go, here you will get 3x square and this will again go, so this is 0x minus 5 we have taken now. Now again we need to check these two and this will give you plus 3. So this again after multiplication will give you 3x square plus 0x minus 5 and the remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0, this is acting as a factor of the given polynomial. Now we got the other 0 of the polynomial as 3x square plus 6x plus 3. So in order to find the remaining zeros, what we will do is we have to just equate it to 0. And this will give you, you can take out 3 from this, this is x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0, 3 can't be equal to 0. So you get x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Or else this can be written as x plus 1 the whole square. This is the expansion of a plus b the whole square. So x square plus 2x plus 1 can be written as x plus 1 the whole square. That means you are getting the two factors as x as minus 1, minus 1. These are the two zeros of the polynomial and the two factors are x plus 1 and x plus 1. Hence, the other
other zeros of the polynomial r minus 1 minus 1. If the question is find all the zeros, then you have to write root of 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3 also together with this. Here they are asking find all the other zeros, that's why we are writing only the dot values. Okay?